Zags in the road red, Louisville in the home white, and we are underway here in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville looking to make it to a fifth straight NCAA Sweet 16 appearance. Van Liff off the screen. Rebound by Inksler. Second chance. How about that by the senior? Olivia Cochran, turnaround jumper, knocks it down, and Louisville is off to a 4-0 start. Hall for three. Go! Front to Verchoke. Off the mark. Struggles to begin this game for the Zags offense. Smith on the other end. Knocks down the three. We're talking big time scores for the cards. Zags breaking the press. That was one of the talking points from the Louisville players yesterday. We feed our offense from our defense with that press. And thus far, it's turned into a 10-0 lead. How about the steal by Cochran? With the right hand finish. Smith drives, finish with the right hand. She's just grown up around the game. I asked her the biggest piece of advice she ever got from her father. He said, keep the main thing, the main thing. Kaylee Trong getting the first two points needed for the Zags. Kaylee Trong, a first team all WCC selection. The twin sisters on the floor together. Off the feed, one sister to another, and a quick five point spurt on the timeout for the Zags. He settled into this game a little more and ball reversals, each really good in rhythm shots. Dalen Trong to the corner, Walker for three. Knocks it down, and how about this run put together by the Zags? An 8 0 run to answer. Inksler's got to fire one up. And good defense in the half court set by the Zags. Walker looking ahead to Egypt. What a move from Walker to Ejim, and look at the move by Zaga. Robinson floater in the lane. Inksler skies in for the offensive rebound. Cochran is there. Dalen Trong with Van Lift in her face, rattled in and out on that three ball. Three on two, Van Lift to Smith. I had a nickname, Brick. I'm lucky he got any game time at all. Robinson off the feed from Hall. Van Lift back into the ball game. Great shot by the sophomore who leads this team in scoring. Lead is up to eight for the Cardinals. Trog splits the defense and an answer for Gonzaga. Tempted. Down low, finding Trog. High low game. That's one of the specialties of the Zags offense. Reholst back ironed on the three ball attempt into the hands of O'Connor. Williams finding Kempton down low. Again, the high-low game working for the Zags, and all of a sudden, it's a two-point game. Under 10 on the shot clock. Tron with suffocating defense by Robinson. Williams throws it up and drops it, and Gonzaga is now tied it up at 22 in Louisville. Louisville's offense has gone into witness protection almost three minutes <laughs> without a made bucket. And they trail by one. Until now, Van Lift with an answer out of the break, and that's who you look to if you're Louisville. Van Lift, who reminds me of Isaiah Thomas. I have said throughout this weekend that this Louisville team remind me of the bad boys of the Pistons back in the late 80s. Walker, no, on the three ball attempt, but there's Ejim to clean it up with the putback. All with the dribble drive, counted in the foul. Kempton a quiet first half, back to Trong. Launching a three, back iron, but there's Kempton with the offensive rebound. Trong again follows it up, and we are tied up at 27. Trong, 10 points on four of six shooting. Van Lift, somehow that shot fell, are you kidding me? Cochran one-on-one -on -one with each, and that's a great matchup, and an answer. On the other end for the sophomore. Kaelin Trong, talk about the C parting. Deanna Smith, the lucky bounce somehow falls, and that is.
is how the first half comes to a close here in Louisville. And here they are with a chip on their shoulder. They're going to fight their way back to a fifth straight Sweet 16 appearance. Walker drives the baseline. Verjoge with the right hand finish and has fought their way back to a chance to get to the Sweet 16. It goes with that mental toughness aspect. You have to be able to battle through adversity of a season and maintain the highs and lows that come with it. Tron followed up her own miss. O'Connor stolen away by Anxler. Bounce pass to Van Litt. Off tracks and in. Multiple people on this Louisville roster have the ability to handle the ball, which is why it's dynamic for multiple people to break the press. Van Litt spots up and hits the three. Face of Haley Van Litt. She just hit a shot like 10 seconds ago. Now she's hitting back-to-back -back threes. Getting the Wouldn't you agree? Would you, would you describe her game as saucy? What I kind would, of sauce? I will describe her game any way possible, including Kaylee Tron's three-point shot was saucy. Floater in the lane, gets it to drop. Kempton playing with three fouls, a loser defender off glass and in. That's a big bucket for the senior. Smith from the free throw line. There's Cochran cleaning it up with the offensive rebound. Fakes her defender out with the right hand. Angsler. Strong to the basket. Counted in the foul. <laughs> Closing seconds and a block by Smith. That ends the quarter. When you're married with two kids, you live for those stories now. Give me the details. He wants the deets. Van Lynn, 18 points on the night for the sophomore standout. <laughs> So Cochran and Engsler each with three fouls apiece. Stolen away, Van Lip. Engsler, spin around, in. Everybody is good right now. You can't relax no matter how big of a lead you had at, at any point in the game. Melody Compton coming out right there. Kempton with the nice move to the basket. Van Lip just continues to cut so hard. And as an offensive player, if you cut hard, you're going to catch your defender off guard and therefore have an advantage with the angle you get going towards your teammate or towards the basket. Van Lip, corner three. Nothing but net about that as she looks at the crowd. Eight of 16 from the floor for Van Lip in 31 minutes. Walker left open for three and a big answer for the Zags. Miscommunication with Hall and Smith. Robinson, floater in the paint, knocks it down as the senior comes off the bench making an impact. Van Lip to Smith with the right hand, and that could be the dagger that the Cardinals needed. Still to come, number one Stanford, eighth seeded Kansas. As Egypt gets the bucket, for the fifth straight year, Jeff Walls and his Cardinals are dancing in the Sweet 16. It's on to Wichita.